Halftime here on Sports Central Saturday night. Still to get to. I found a, a renewed love or, or passion about uh, what I do for as a teacher and as a coach. We'll bring you the story of James Hardy, a local football coach who made a decision that ultimately changed his life. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Well, James Hardy is an assistant varsity football coach at Eastside High in Lancaster. A former offensive lineman himself, Hardy's weight had ballooned to a dangerous number, but what he did next improved his life on every level. The football lineman has always been a unique specimen within the world they inhabit, in many ways just as athletic as skilled players. What they are most valued for is size and the ability to dominate their position by driving competitors into the dirt. Though it's those much craved dimensions that have become a growing problem, especially when the playing days are over. Athletes are very active while they're playing. They're burning off a lot of calories and they compensate by eating a lot and that's okay when they're, when they're playing at that level. Um, but when they retire, if they continue to consume the same number of calories, they're going to gain weight. James Hardy was an athletic 320-pound lineman at Cal Lutheran in the 90s, but just 10 years removed from the gridiron, obesity had become his reality. You kind of just see the weight, you know, go up, but it's never a big deal because I look in the mirror, it doesn't, doesn't change. But when I went to that doctor's visit, when I got on the scale and it didn't register, it kind of it hit me, it kind of, you know, triggered my mind and my emotions of like, what's going on? Hardy's choice was a drastic one. In July of 2010, he opted for gastric bypass surgery. Coach Hardy was a great candidate for surgery for a number of reasons. He was uh, fairly young in his early 30s, uh, did not have many medical problems, but clearly was very overweight, uh, was well over 400 pounds. I was somewhat disappointed in myself, but at the same time, I knew that there were things that I could do to, to make a change, that it wasn't necessarily too late for me to make, a, uh, make this type of change or transition to be able to put myself in a better situation later on in life. There you go, right there. So now come down, squat down, come back up. Use the legs, not the back. Hardy has lost 157 pounds and now weighs in at 275. He also eats much better and exercises more effectively. Getting the weight under control not only improved his quality of life, it sent a positive message to his students as well. He's a positive role model even before, um, you know, getting getting what he had done. So, you know, now that he does that, it just shows the kids, you know, that, that there is a, a value in nutrition and definitely exercise. We try to tell the kids, yes, size is important, but if you lose your mobility as well, I mean, then it's, it's almost for nothing. That's a lot of weight he had to lose. So it inspired me that it don't matter how big the obstacle is, you can pass it if you try. I used to be pretty big and I started eating better, now I could run more, last longer, and they got us working out, so that helps even more. So when you're coming here, pull up here, then you want to come down here and then come up. They see me, I think, in a different light. They see me as a person that's took the steps to try to improve their life. I definitely will say that I found a, a renewed love or, or passion about uh, what I do for as a teacher and as a coach. It's quite a story. It must have made quite an impression on you. Yeah, he really did. It. Well, it's, you know, you have the surgery and that helps a, a little bit, but you do have to change your eating habits and, and your, your lifestyle and your exercising. And, and for a guy who's, he's a PE teacher there as well <laughs> as the, the football coach. So, you know, it's, it helps him do his job better. Not only inspiration for the kids, but that happens to a lot of guys who quit playing, yeah. who had to put on a lot of weight. I mean, the guys are passing away, you know. Yeah, so good for him. Time for our final break here on Sports Central Saturday.